It smells so good. Chef Shai is here from Yaho Kitchen. How are you, my friend? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm glad you're here um, because you're fabulous, but also because <laughs> it smells so good. Yafo is opening another new location. We are. We just announced it last week. We're coming to Ballantyne. What? Awesome for us. It's awesome for you. It's awesome <laughs> for Ballantyne because yes. I used to live down there and boy, if I had had a Yafo, I would have been there every day. Um, you're going to be in that plaza where the Harris Teeter is? Uh, yeah. Right so at Johnston. At, and uh, it's called Ballantyne Commons. Yep. Uh, it's an old uh, JJ Red Hot. Yes. Um, right across from the bowl. And that whole area is just booming right now. So. Uh, we've always wanted to kind of go um, south of uh, Center City where we are. Yes. Uh, it took us a couple of years to get there, mm -hmm. um, but we're ready. We're ready to expand. We have such a great team that's ready to go over there and open more restaurants for us. Great. Um, so, yeah, we're coming to Ballantyne. Very good. And, of course, as the bowl continues to expand and grow, like being right there is going to be fabulous. Okay. You're making something today that I had, A, never heard of, didn't know how to say, and have <laughs> certainly not tasted. What are you making today? So we're going to take care of all of those concerns Great. right now. Um, we are making arayas. So arayas is a Middle Eastern uh, Lebanese or Palestinian dish, depends on where you look at it. Um, and it is, arayas comes from the word aris, which is like a groom. And they would make it like in parties and give it to the groom and, and bride. Okay. Um, so it's something that's very big in the Middle East in the last few years, and it's really good for summer grilling. And it's like a Middle Eastern hot pocket. Oh, love and that. And we start with our kofta meat. Okay. So over here, and you can smell it. Uh, it has uh, our ground beef, so mm. it's our special blend. Also has like onion and garlic and some warm spices like cinnamon and, and oh, yeah. uh, paprika. And then we kind of like ball it. We put herbs in there as well. And the, tr the cool part about it is you take our pita and you see the crevices in the pita. It's like yeah. very, you know, it's a, it's a fluffy bread. We put it in and then we press it so it bakes into those crevices in the pita. Uh -huh. So when you cook it, uh, kind of like all the juices get absorbed in the pita and you get a crunchy out exterior, but it's super juicy on the inside. And because it shrinks and you can see, so I'm, you know when you make a burger, it like puffs in the center. Right. So some chefs or some recipes call to make like a little dim dimple in, in the middle. Right. Uh, so we're doing the same here. So we're kind of like I'm pressing it and I don't mind if it's coming out because we're trying to cook the stuff that's inside. Got and if you see over here, so we start with searing it on, on the sides. Yes. Um, so we're going to do the same thing here. Give it a little and then we do it. You could do it on the grill outside yeah. at home. Uh, if you're doing it inside, it's just a matter of uh, it takes time because sure. the challenge is to also cook the meat on the inside. Right, because you don't want the bread to burn, get too crispy, all of those things before the meat on the exactly. inside cooks. Exactly. So uh, a different way to do it is to sometimes sear it and then put it in the oven. Okay. So it kind of like crisps up. Um, this is a dish that we had on our menu a few years ago, yep. and then we kind of like evolved and tried other things. Sure. It, but people keep asking us to do it all the time. Huh. So we said, you know, it's summer, it's grilling season, and it's something that we kind of want to change things around a little bit. We've done much better, I feel like, over the year, uh, or the years, people are more accustomed to yafo. People are like, okay, Everybody understand what falafel is. Everybody right. understand what you're on. We can kind of like push the boundaries a little more. Yeah, for people who don't know Yafo, um, how do you describe the food to them? So we do a Mediterranean fast casual, Middle Eastern fast casual concept. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a cafeteria style. You go through and you can build your bowl. But over the last three years, we really expanded our chef features. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we added the hot chicken and the schnitzel and the beef kebabs. And then we have the uh, moussachan chicken tacos. Uh, and it's kind of things that, like, maybe it had a different name or uh -huh. maybe it evolved over the years but it's more than just like build a bowl yes so much more than that um i ha people tell me all the time oh my gosh it's the best mm -hmm. mac and cheese in town um i you know go crazy over the falafel <laughs> um so this is what they are when they're done so that's what they are when they're done okay. so we make these to order so when you come in and order it it takes about five to seven minutes okay um, so but patient. it's worth the wait yes it comes with our side of tzatziki yes. so i'm gonna hear i'm gonna do this so you can see it on camera you see yes, how please. juicy this is so juicy so oh my see gosh it's dripping. perfectly cooked through yeah you can see the steam so this is for you okay and we're gonna put a little bit of tzatziki on it great pull it down yes and what's this and that's tahini oh, okay so it Would depends you? on yeah no i prefer tzatziki <laughs> and you can hear the crunch mm -hmm. on it Oh my God. I don't know if your microphone is close enough. 
they all uh, heard it. But yeah, so this is for mm. limited time. We're going to have it until it gets a little colder. I know the fall kind of caught us mm -hmm. by surprise today. Yeah. Uh, but we are already thinking about what we're going to do next for fall this so is for winter. So good, Shai. All right, let's put all the information for Yapo up on the screen. When does the Ballantine location open? Uh, great question. We uh, don't know as yet. As soon as we can build it. As soon as <laughs> they can build it. So Ballantine, when they build it, you will go. Yes. The QC Kitchen app is where we put all of the things that we do in our QC Kitchen. Shai, this is delicious.